Hello there my fellow brick stackers. It's Chris and I'm coming to you with a great Lego haul. And I say it's great because this is my first time in over four years to get to go to a Lego store. Before I start I want to apologize if you hear water in the background. Uh, I was out for about four days uh, so some of my water levels in my aquariums around me are kind of low and I need to do some maintenance on them but I've got so much to process in my Lego room that I put this first. So if you hear background noise I apologize. But I uh, went to Nashville uh, over the weekend. We had a long weekend and ended up going to the Opry Mills Mall, which is the Opry Mills Gallery, I think is what it's called. And that's where the Lego store is. It's a, over a five hour drive from me. And uh, there is one a little bit closer in uh, Birmingham, Alabama, but this store is supposedly a lot nicer. I haven't been to the one in Birmingham yet but it's a better destination for my family. We made a quick trip and a little vacation out of it, so we went to the Nashville store, and there I got to meet Lego for Chris. Uh, we met in the mall. He uh, handed me a, um, where's that? Where's my little bag? It's got the... I think it's in there. No, it's the big one. We combined all the bags to unload out of the car, and Lego for Chris met me there to give me a package. Here it is. So let's start off by looking at this and giving him credit for this because I'm not going to make a video for one item. He sent me, if you look back at some of my old videos, uh, several Hot Wheels and <laughs> I didn't think anything of it but at the time I was making a comment I was like oh man I got all of them except one for the whole set of the Batmobile series and he accidentally left one out. He had it at the house and left one out so I do now have the complete set of the Batman. Um, this is the Cruise Batmobile. Batman but Batmobiles from Bane by Hot Wheels. I don't know if you can see it real well, but there you go. So I do appreciate that so much. Keep that for storage or for shipping. That's a good little box to ship in. So without further ado, let's look at what I picked up at the Lego store. And I made three trips. Not all of this is mine. Some is my son's. And some of this is Mardi Gras Man 23's uh, stuff. He texted me and wanted me to pick up for him. But let's start off with this big bag here. And I should be able to tell you who's is who by pulling them out. This is my son's pick a brick cup. Looks that he hadn't had a chance to actually. Wow, is this looks so empty. Is this yours? I think that's Bronson's. He this said was. He wanted some. Okay, this is must be my, my seven-year-olds, and I thought I checked them better than this. Uh, this one's got a lot of empty space in it, but I let him do his thing while I was doing Mardi Gras Man's and mine, and there's a lot of empty space in this one, but I'm, you can't say anything. It's a seven-year-old's cup. He's happy, so I'm going to set that over the side. I'm going to get my sons out of the way before I go over what I got. And let's see, here's one more for my son. Boy, is this yours too? Orange brick? That's mine. You can see the difference between my packing and my son's. That's yours too? I guess. Did you get the barrels? Yeah. Or did you get the hinge pieces like that? I don't get Well, where is Bryson's? Where's the other cup? Here they are. You've got a small one too. That's his. That's his? Yeah. So this is yours? I guess. Well, we might have say something about you. You're a little older. You're supposed to be doing better than that. <laughs> now, he didn't get a small one too, did he? He did. Where's the other? All right. So you can see we've got plenty of pick brick cups here. So these are my sons, plus this little one. And they had a blast picking out what they wanted. We had. They haven't had a chance to do this yet. This was the first time because the last time my oldest son made it to Disney World. He was uh, almost six. Yeah, so he was. No, what? Oh, whatever. Anyway, he's close to around the age of six, so we didn't get a whole lot of stuff for him at that time. But this time they made fair use of it. So you can see uh, my boys each got their picker brick cups and some other stuff. But uh, let's see if we can move all this stuff over the side. Now, the big boy picker brick cups. The AL4L picker brick cups. Let's get those out. And before y'all go commenting saying that, oh, you shouldn't have done this much, or you should have bought the whole box, or whatever, 
you gotta remember it's the experience of enjoying a Lego store for the first time over four years and watching all of y'all's videos where y'all can go down the street and go to your Lego store and get a pick a brick cup anytime y'all need something. I don't have that option. So I enjoyed it. Lego Man AFOL, he uh, text messaged me and wanted me to pick up two cups for him. And in this one, I think it was some one by eight white bricks that he wanted. And he told me to fill them as best I could and fill in the, what was left with some uh, two by two gray, light gray tiles. This is the, I checked the manager, went back in the back to make sure they didn't have any more uh, two by two tiles in the back, but this is all they had. So this first cigarette cup is Mardi Gras Man 23s or 23s. And then he wanted a full cup of gray tiles. So here's your full cup of gray tiles. So I will ship those off to him shortly. And mine, I got four cups. More than I got more than four cups, didn't I? Uh oh, yeah, I did. Cause we went back. I made three trips to the Lego store that week. I was up there. So this one's about to bust open. So let's look at this one. This is one I just mixed in. At the bottom, I got some olive green cheese slopes. Uh, I got some bricks with the hinges on them to where I can hang these uh, gates on them. Uh, I've got some one by two uh, transparent blue tiles and some two by two white jumpers and some doors and I think that's it in this cup. This cup's got pretty much the same thing in it except it's all cheese slopes to fill in the bottom. Uh, more of these gray gates, the bricks to hold the gates and that's it in this whole cup right here. And this one I decided to get a whole cup of transparent blue one by two tiles. I got two full containers of two by two gray tiles. And this one was a little different. A lady was asking uh, one of the associates there for if they had any fencing for their city and I, he pulled out two boxes of fencing and I got some of this white fencing. I'm not going to open it up yet because it's buried down in there of this cheese slopes. And I got some more olive green cheese slopes and some more of the gray fencing uh, gates to go all the way around the bottom. So I tried to fill it in with cheese slopes in every little spot I could to make the most out of these cups. So those are my pick a brick cups. So I ended up getting six pick a brick cups for me. And then let's see what else we have in here. Mario Man 23 wanted me to pick up one of these for him. All right, this is the birthday topper. It's got the clown and the birthday boy or girl. You can swap out the hair and some other accessories. And it was on sale for $7.98. He wanted one of these, so I picked up that for him. And let's see here. And I picked up one for myself. I think I only got one. I can't remember. Yeah, I picked up one for myself because I wanted to get the clown that's in there. So that's mine. And then, I already have two of these, but this is the Lego business card holder. And I got some products I want to use it for my personal self. And I got the rest to part out. But Lego for Chris came in while I was eating lunch and he bought two. And when I came back from lunch, I decided that I was going to buy whatever they had left. And I came back and said, oh man, I told Tyler, my son, I was like, hey, there's two less here. Somebody came and got them. And sure enough, when I met Lego for Chris uh, after we got to shopping, he said, oh yeah, I picked up two of these. So he got the other two. So I did ask permission at the Lego store, the manager, if he would care if I bought all of them. And of course he said, no, you would be happy to get rid of them. They had one there that somebody had stole the letters out of. They were missing, so I left that one there. So. Let's see here. Some more. Some more. Now these are on sale for eleven dollars. The price is not marked. It's marked fourteen ninety nine. And uh, when I got up there, I said, "No, these are supposed to be eleven dollars." And they rang up eleven dollars. But um, I got two, four, six, eight, ten. Hey, that's lucky how that ended up being ten. My magic part out number got two over there but like I said I'm gonna do some stuff with me personally for my my business put some brick stackers signs up stuff like that uh, so that worked out well so that gave me 10 
of those. And to get to $75 on the third day I was there, I usually would never buy a set full price, and but I had to have this one because I love Captain America. This is the new Captain America, Captain America versus Hydra. Uh, it's got the new color scheme of Captain America, which you've all seen the reviews on and stuff. So I got me a set of that at regular price. And with me being a Batman fan, I picked up this Batman set for $12.97 or whatever it was, $12.99. Okay. So the only reason I did that, though, was so I could get to the minimum to get this, the Martian Manhunter. Now, uh, I got two on that trip. Two right here. I made three trips, so I got two each time I went. Two right here. And two right here. So right now I'm up to six. So one of these are going in my, in my personal collection, and the other five will go into my store. All right, so if you're looking for one of these, I don't know when this video will air. It might be gone by the time you get this video aired live, but there you go. I also picked up and we got a bunch of these in my truck. I forgot to get out. A bunch of these Lego Movie stickers. Okay, I thought that was pretty sharp. They were walking around there. The second trip I went in, they were walking around giving them out. Every other time, we had to ask for them at the counter. Your job is to check those bags and make sure I got everything out. We got a Lego Club magazine. My son wants to read that. There you go, buddy. Looks pretty sharp. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. So here you go. And we got a store calendar somewhere. Oh, there it is. Check it out already. There's a store calendar. I just don't know when it next time I'll ever be best to go back to the Lego store. So I took care of me I could out of this one. Hey, look, receipt. That's a seat from supper. I don't need that done. Nope. All right. So, this video gets too long. I picked up a bunch of these keychains. Uh, here's Anakin. And then we had the snake from Ninjago. I picked up a bunch of these for a dollar each, 98 cents each. Can't beat that, they're normally $4.98. I got them for 98 cents, there's Anakin. And I'm gonna do a few different things with these. Uh, I'm gonna put a few in my store. The other things I'm gonna hold on to for giveaways uh, on the channel, and I will send you keychains when I have giveaways here. Okay? So that's my Lego store haul. Uh, again, I was most happy to get to go through the pick a brick wall and enjoy that. I do have a video that'll go along with this brick stacking in the wild, and I will part out a few of these extra pieces off of these um, business card holders. Layoff Chris, I appreciate the Batmobile. I appreciate you and your wife taking time to come out and meet me and my family. I enjoyed getting to spend the time with you. I look forward to getting to meet some of the other uh, YouTubers that we share the same interest in, these Lego community we have going here. Uh, and again, uh, check out my BrickLink store, my Brick Owl stores. They're in the description. If you need any Lego parts or elements, look at my stores, please. Subscribe, like, and share. And until next time, y'all continue to stack those bricks. See ya. Bye-bye.